Hello everyone, this is Puma, and welcome back to episode 9 of The Planet Crafter. On our last episode, we finally got the gas extractor. And we were also able to put a few rockets into space. So that we could see what we got going on up there. Also, so we could see different points of interest around the map. Uh, today uh, we're gonna be waiting for a few unlocks. Nothing too fancy I don't believe. Uh, we do have this ore extractor too that we should unlock today. The nuclear fusion generator is still a little ways out. The tree spreader tier 2 is quite a ways out but switch over to biomass we're pretty close to getting it for the the tier one anyway and then we also have the water filter but that's still quite a ways out to two so what I think we're gonna do today is try to get up a few more of the drills and heaters and also I want to go over and explore this area I know that's okay a little bit past this area I know there's a crash ship over here past the sulfur pits and the uh, sand falls. So we'll head over there, look around, gather some material, and we'll see where we go from there. Here we are at the sand falls. What's this? Plant. Oh, 500 multiplier plant. Uh, that's pretty nice. Maybe we can find some more of those just laying about. But all right, we're gonna fly up here to the top of the sand falls. There's the sulfur fields over there. Uh, there is a ship just right over this horizon, if I can fly straight. Uh, oh, grab this stuff. Alright, um, okay, I see the very top of it. There it is. Alright, once we get over here, we'll build a little spot for us to grab some oxygen. There's the entrance right there. Alright, grab some oxygen right quick. And then we will head inside here and see what's happening. Turn my light on. Alright, so looks like we can go left and right. Um, nothing in here. Anything up here? Ah! Wait. Oh, I fell. Uh, I didn't see anything up there. I could probably just flap here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, what's this? Chest. Oh! Take all that. Take that osmium explosive powder. Uh, I'll take all of it for now. I'll probably have to drop some stuff off. Uh, let's drop down here. Uh, those are just solar panels I'm not worried about getting them right now tree bark don't worry about it aluminum um, is there anything else over here uh, so I'm sort of solar panel satellites doesn't look like we can deconstruct them 
Right, we got an iridium rod out of that. Uh, more parts. All right, here's another chest. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. What do we want to get rid of? Get rid of that. That. Um, I definitely want to take as much super alloy as I can, since we are going to be trying to make. Oh, go ahead and just drop that. Since we're going to be trying to make more drills and heaters, I'm going to need all that super alloy. Anything in here? Nope. I think that's all that was back here, maybe. Let's see. Oh, there's another one. Bacteria. Oh, hmm. I'll go ahead and take that mutagen and that explosive powder. I really hate dropping off all this aluminum. Alright, tell you what, I'm going to go back and build oh I need oxygen I'm gonna go back and build a storage chest in here but in order to do that I'm gonna to have to grab some iron okay I went back and got everything that I wanted out of the rest of those chests that I couldn't get earlier and I I think this right side is the only place we haven't hit yet. It doesn't look like there. Oh, what's this? Alright, so there was something up here. What we got in here? Oh, we're super alloy. I'm going to be full of super alloy going back. I don't think I'll have any room for anything else. Does this one? Yes, this one opens too. Oh, more radium rods. I believe that is everything in here. Let's just take a quick run around the ship. Make sure there's nothing around here. Alright, I'll drink my water. Okay, so... Um, take all that. Drop all this random stuff off. Have any super alloy in there? I uh, will take these iridium rods, that, um, uranium rod, mutagen, this rocket, fertilizer, oh, that multiplier, seed multiplier. All right, I th think that will do us for now. I can always come back later and get all that aluminum if I need to. But I am not too worried about it right now. I don't think I need any, any aluminum right off the bat. But I know I say that and I will need something right off the bat. I'll probably unlock something and need it. Some zeolite over there, but no room. Alright, so we got enough super alloy that we can make another drill and another heater. Our heat is almost at 86,000, and our pressure is almost at 45,000. Oh, it's raining. Alright, we will place these down and see what we got. Okay, our heat is now 114,000, which was a pretty big jump up. Our pressure is now at almost 60,000. It's also a pretty good jump. Do, let's see, pressure, heat. We might need to throw a couple more pressure rockets up in the atmosphere, just so it'll help match that heat a little bit closer. But, uh, let me go put this 500 multiplier seat over here first, before I forget. And we will get the stuff together to build a couple more rockets. Uh, what was that pressure? What do we need for that? Stop training. 
pressure, 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 plants, pressure, okay, um, three silicon, so we'll get six silicon, and two rockets, and we still have plenty of super alloy for that, do we have enough, just enough, and just enough rockets, oh, let's see what it, what was our pressure rate? 80... No, uh... 59... Almost 60. So we'll see what it does after we launch these two rockets up. There that one goes. And there this one goes. Right, so we should be getting some meteors now. Let's see what our pressure's at now. Oh, nice, okay. Uh, let's wait from almost 60 to almost 100. Let's look at our unlocks now. We're getting really close to that nu nuclear fusion generator. And, ooh, we are right there at that ore extractor. I wish I knew what I needed for it. I still have six super alloy so hopefully that's enough for that Put you in here but yeah right now it's a waiting game I may oh oh I know what we can do when I was heading over to that past the sandfalls I went through this iridium cave, and there is now a vine that goes up through the ceiling. So we're going to go up that vine, see what's going on. I believe it popped up at the end of the flora, or maybe at the beginning of the trees level. Okay. Alright, so we have... Oh, food grower too. I probably won't make any of those. But we got Zeolite up here. Oh, hello. What we got up here? Uh, Zeolite. You, you. Look at that, we already got a replacement rocket. I'm going to have to come back up here later just to gather resources that fell out of these meteors. And that's a nice view of the vase. Look at that, it's so green. So many things popping up. You can see the little green flora popping up everywhere. Alright. Time for a jump. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. And use our rockets so we don't crash. And die. But I need some water. And some food. And some oxygen. Alright, let's drop all this stuff off. Oh! Okay, or extractor. What do we need for that? Or extractor tier 2. Super alloy rod. Ooh. Mm, we can make one. Uh, two iridiums and an Os three osmium. Alright, so I will get to work making that super alloy rod. And then we are going to go over here back to this cave and put that tier 2 miner down so we can start gathering super alloy. Yeah, so that aluminum that we left over there, we're going to need to make all the super alloy. So I will run back there right quick grab that aluminum and then we should be able to make enough super alloy to make the super alloy rod all right we got our super alloy rod made so we can make that extractor tier 2 so we will now head back over to the super alloy cave Ugh, we're out of power Okay, so super alloy will be our main extraction. 
But I also want to put up. Uh, I can't put that right there. All right, so we will put up a foundation. Snap that to that. And put this shredder machine right here. Now what you do is you put things in here you want to destroy. So this ore extractor is not only going to pull out the super alloy, but it's also going to pull other things out too. And I don't want to have to tote all that stuff back. And I'd rather not just throw it out everywhere on the ground. So what I'll do is all that extra stuff that I pull out, I'll just throw in that shredder and destroy. Keep things a little clean. And also keeps the machine empty, so the the drill empty, so that it can keep making super alloy. Honey, I'm home. Um. Oh yeah, that's right. We ran out of power. Uh, let me drop off the things I picked up, and we will look at. How close were we to making that nuclear fusion generator? Still a little ways away. What's our power at right now? Oh, that used a lot of power. 164. All right, yeah, we're going to have to make another nuclear reactor to get us through to it. All right, got the lats back on. Hopefully... That'll last us until we can get that fusion generator. Uh, we'll go ahead and harvest some tree bark, which reminds me, we need to get another plant mutating. Because this one is done. So we got that. Uh, what did we need? Mutagen and a seed. Let's do a Lerma seed this time. And we picked up a mutagen earlier, so we can get this going. Research. Start sequence. How close are we to that tier one? Uh, slowly but surely. I don't know if we'll get it this time, but at least we'll have plenty of seeds. I think now is a good time to look at this week's golden chest. Alright, so here we are, right here. We are going to head over to the other side of these canyons, just to the north of us. I'll head over there, and see you on the other side. Got a 450 multiplier seed. Prefer to 500 again, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. All right, grab a little bit of oxygen. Okay, we're up on the walls of the canyon. There's that little space station ship we went through. If you're looking south and go a little bit to the right, you'll hug this right wall. And there you have it, this week's golden crate. 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 I always call it a chest. It's a crate. All right. Good stuff. Uh, oh, we replaced that rocket engine. Tear you down. And we'll head back to base now. Probably make a couple more flower spreaders. Oh, zoom in to put these two flowers we got. Oh, I don't really need that one, but this 450 and this 600. All right, we got those flower spreaders up. Put that 450 over there, the 600 over there. Let's throw this golden effigy on our trophy chest. Or not just uh, display case. And let's look at our unlocks, see where we're at. Oh, wait. And... Let's see. 
Okay, biomass is going up a lot quicker now just with those two. So that means we're going to get this tree spreader here in a few minutes. But besides that, uh, we're still a little ways away from the water filter. Uh, not worried about the tier 2 spreader. We're getting there. That nuclear fusion generator. And we've already unlocked everything on pressure. So... We don't really have to concentrate on pressure. It will help our terraformation, but since we have everything unlocked, we can concentrate more on other things, but we're almost about to unlock the last thing on heat. So I'm not too worried about that either. Oxygen still has a way to go, but once we get the tree spreaders up, that's gonna help a lot with that. Reminds me, we got this is done. Go ahead and make another seed. What do we got? I think that one works. And a mutagen. Research. Yes, it does. Start sequence. Hey, we got the tree spreader. I was about to make some mutagen. Bacteria first, then mutagen. But, let us look at what we need for the tree spreader. Alright, super alloy, bacteria, fertilizer, tree bark, and a bioplastic nugget. So we will have three seeds here pretty soon. So... We will make three... Oh, I need some more resources for Super Alloy. So we will get all the stuff together and make three tree spreaders so that we can put those three tree seeds we have in. Okay, so we're about to put up those three trees. Our biomass is at... A little over 10,000, almost 11,000. Alright, yeah, okay. So, we will throw up these tree spreaders. If I remember right, they have to be... Yes, they have to be up against the water. I don't want them too close to our base, just so they're not... We don't have trees growing all over the place. So, I'll put one here. A little bit of a desert peninsula, so we'll spice it up a little bit. Put you there. And let's put one on the other side. Just to uh, sort of balance things out a bit. Right here. Alright, well, let's go see what our biomass is now. Okay, uh, not as good as I would have hoped. Up to about 6,000. Uh, I didn't even look to see what the oxygen was before. Oh, we're entering the insect stage now. So we should start seeing little larva pop up everywhere. And we're so close to that fusion generator. I would like to get that today. Don't know if it'll happen, but here's to hoping. Oh, looks like we're starting to get some trees out there. Let's go have a look. Oh, yeah, here's some popping up right now. Since we use all different styles, all the trees are going to look different. Hey, nuclear fusion generator. Oh, let's uh, look at the trees. Oh, nice. Okay, moving on. 
What do we need for the nuclear fusion generator? All right, we need super alloy and pulsar quartz, which we do not have. So, that actually sounds like a job to tackle next time. We got it all unlocked. Now we just got to get the stuff together to make it. But overall, see you like I think we had a pretty productive day. Get up here on my rock. Got our tree spreaders up. Got a little bit more heat and pressure. Got another reactor going. We got that tier 2 drill over there making or not making, but drilling out super alloy. So, I'll have to go check on that at some point. But, overall, pretty successful day. Well, that is it for today's episode. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like. And if you are not subscribed to our channel, please hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the episode, Leave a comment. Tell me what you liked. And after that, you have a good day. And I'll see you next time for episode 10.